Welcome back to Data and Business Understanding and recap that we have a process called CRISPDM, Cross Industry Startup Process for Data Mining. We use that as a structured approach, how to mitigate the risk of failing your projects. It comes from business understanding, goes to data understanding, to data preparation, modeling, evaluation and deployment. In the last learning journey, we learned about the healthcare use case. This time, we want to talk about a new client project that we did for an oil and gas company. It's called Prediction of Sand Accumulation in Desert. Pretty awesome, actually. We teamed up with a leading oil and gas company, and they were focusing on how can they reduce the cost of operations um, by gaining insights using AI and machine learning technology to identify the accumulation of sand in their critical infrastructures. What does it mean exactly? So in the middle of you know, the desert, um, they have um, certain kinds of factories or let's say you know, production facilities um, where they need to move to with cars, with trucks, in order to load and unload, right? But the access to those roads, right, are pretty complicated because at weather and different conditions uh, emerge, dust blocks and sands covers those roads and therefore makes it partly not drivable. So the question was, from a business understanding, can we somehow identify um, those kinds of sand piles, how they are moving, what kind of roads are actually free to go, and what kind of roads are blocked, so we need to redirect the traffics as soon as possible. Business understanding comes to data understanding. So the first question was also, what kind of day is actually there, right? So we made a first index about what we saw as influencing factors. Influencing factors for sand moving through the desert, actually, and accumulating at a certain pulse, right? One reflects, obviously, is weather. You know, is there sand, is there wind, is there a storm, right? But also temperature, wind direction matters. Maybe the landscape itself, the evaluation, right? Maybe also a bit of the satellite images we get together. Maybe also past experience because previously trucks were moving. So data understanding is critical in identifying not only external data, but also internal data and trying to explain how a potential solution could and what of high influence factors can be identified. Data processing is then obviously <laughs> as heterogeneous as the data itself. That means on the one side you have soil data, like elevation data, you have landscape data, you have satellite data, you have web data that is consu consumed via APIs, you have visual representations, you have you know, service tickets um, based on, on natural language processing. So for an optimal solution, you may need to pre-present and represent the data representation forming different modalities, stream, image, text, consider these kinds of aspects as well, not focusing on a single modality. Fourth, um, modeling. And uh, modeling is again, you start with a base model. In our case, we started with two different approaches, a bit of competitive to each other. One is called gradient boosting, which to be frankly fair, is a good practice for all kinds of baselines, right? Gradient boosting is an awesome algorithm, you know, and does for many, for many use cases, we do a good baseline. Second one is long short term memories, some kind of a neural architecture in order to learn, you know, predictions and forecast aspects. Both um, are kind of nice and we pit it in each, uh, against each other, having the gradient boosting as the baseline. So sometimes you need to combine and build ensembles, consider that as well. Testing. Testing a bit of, you know, especially in, in very early things, right, are then more on the user experience side. Build acceptance tests, not only tweak about the models or, you know, tweak and, and, and carry on the data. Think about different test scenarios that you can provide to the user in terms of shaping and preparing the data, executing the test cases, signing off certain aspects where you say like, this is a value, this is not of a value, and this needs to be, sync, uh, be fixed. User acceptance is pivotal and essential in you know, shaping a scalable solution. User acceptance testings on the user experience is uh, effective. And then obviously, you know, 
deployment. So there needs to be different interfaces and different applications deployed. Since you have maybe mobile apps that are guided through the truck loader, maybe monitoring apps that are guided on the service and the scheduler performance. So different interfaces for your final solutions help mostly to, you know, to increase, um, the, the, the decrease the pain and increase uh, the relief for the different users. Once again, we run through together to the data understanding and the CRISP um, and the M workflow. It helps you to ask the right questions and guides you through the process um, to have a 360 degree view uh, around your application. In the next section, we talk about financial aspects. So keep on going, keep on going.